Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll show you how to install the Google Analytics Dashboard plugin so you can view your website statistics right inside the WordPress dashboard here. So let's dive in. Now, to get started, if you don't already have a Google Analytics account, you're going to need to create one at analytics.google.com right up here. And once you go there, you're going to have your account created. You'll go to where it says admin in the lower left. And then you can go to the middle category here where it says create new property. Here, you can decide if you're going to be using it for web, measure a website, apps, or if you're going to do apps and web. I'm just going to use web in this case, and I'll hit continue. And here is where I'm going to need to fill out information about my website now before we dive into that let's go back over into the dashboard we'll navigate down to where it says plugins add new and here i'm going to search for google analytics dashboard or you can just probably type in google analytics and it will come up right here google analytics dashboard we'll hit install now and then we'll hit activate and now it is activated i'm going to say no thanks right up here and now on the left side, we're going to see that we have this Google Analytics tab. Let's navigate over to where it says General Settings. And now we'll click Authorize Plugin. And now it's going to ask us for an access code. So to get an access code, we'll go back over here and we'll fill out this information about our website. So in my case, my website is wpfundamentals.com. It's HTTPS. That is something you want to note is if it is secure here and I'm just going to name the website WP fundamentals and then I'll just paste in my URL from up here into the site and I'll change it to be HTTPS right here next I'll choose an industry I'm just going to choose business for this case and then I'll choose a time zone so I'll go over to East Coast for me and here I'll click create And now it's going to load this page where our account is created. You might have to opt into some terms of service. If you do, you'll just opt into them and then you'll get to this page next. So from here, we can go back in to the Google Analytics settings here and click get access code. And I'll just have to sign in again. And then I'll click where it says allow. And now it's going to give us this code that we can just copy in and paste it in here and click save access code so from here you want to make sure that this URL right here is the same of your website so I have WPFundamentals.com and that's what this is I'll click lock selection once I verify that and I'll click save changes and now the plugin is ready to go and all set up if we navigate back over to where it says dashboard we can see that now we have this Google Analytics tab here and you can view different data. Now it will take a day or two for it to start capturing the data and putting it into effect, but you can do it in real time today, yesterday, seven days, 14, 30, 90, the last year, last three years. You can go by sessions. You can look at all different data right here within the dashboard. And I should note that you also will have the data available in the analytics.google.com dashboard as well over here. So you can have the data for each of them and be able to refer to it whenever you want. It's just easy and nice to be able to refer to it while you're already within a dashboard anyway and get a quick view of how your statistics look and some of the important information down here as well. So I hope you found this video tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel for more WordPress related content. Thanks for viewing and have a great day.